What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to a new video where we're going to talk about the available eloquent collection methods when working with numbers. We're going to cover methods to calculate the average of a collection, the count, the minimum, the maximum number, the median, the sum, and we're going to retrieve a random number from a list. Before we continue on with this course, I want to show you two different ways on how you could use most of the methods we will be using in this course. In Laravel, we could use a static method that can be called on a model class, which will look like this. We're going to call our article model, where we can add a colon colon, where null method, and chain the count method to it. But the same collection method of where null can also be called on an instance of the query builder to add a where clause to filter the records based on the value of a specific column that is null. Both methods can be used to achieve the same result, but they are called in different ways. And this is how it looks. Let's say that we have an article variable which has a value of a collection where we can chain the where null method to it. But throughout this course, we will be playing around with both methods, but I just wanted to make sure that we're both on the same path. The first method that I want to cover is the count method, which returns the total number of records for a given model. Now let's say that we want to see how many articles we have to find inside our application where we could simply make use of our article model, where we're going to use the count method, where you will see that it has returned a total of 100 records. This is quite simple, but keep in mind that we could also use the count method in combination with the where method or any other method. The where method is used to retrieve records that match a specific condition. And since our article model has a is underscore published attribute, we could basically say, well, get me the article model, chain the where method to it, now let's say that we want to get the values where the is underscore published column is equal to true. This doesn't count anything because right after the where method, we could chain the count method. Now let me make the sidebar a little bit smaller. All right. So what we have done right here is called method chaining. A method chaining in Laravel is a technique that allows you to call multiple methods on an object in a single statement. This is often used in eloquent queries, where you could chain methods to build complex queries. Once we perform our request, you will see that it has returned 44 articles where the is underscore published column has been set equal to true. Now let's move on to the second method, which will be the count by method. The count by method is used to group the records by a given column and it returns the count for each group. So let's say that you want to know how many articles you have for each author. Quick note, the count by method only works with columns that contain integer values because it is not possible to group records by non-numeric values. If you try to use count by with a non-integer column, you will receive a type error exception. So we need to make sure that we first pluck a column. So let's say article, and we're gonna pluck the user ID column, where then right after the pluck method, we can chain the count by method. Once we perform our request, you will see that it returns an associative array where the keys are the author IDs and the values are the corresponding article counts. The next method is the max method. And the max method returns the maximum value of a given column. We obviously know the maximum value of the user ID column, since we have that on our screen right now, which is 50. So let's say that we want to retrieve the maximum value from our article model, which has the longest read of posts. So let's say article, colon, colon, max, and it needs to max the minutes to a read column, which will return the highest minutes to read among all articles in your database, which is equal to nine. So let's see how the max method can be useful in a bit more complex query in combination with the where between method. So let's say article where between the user ID needs to be equal to comma an array between a value of 20 and 30 where we could then chain the max method to it, where we need to pass in a column name of minutes to read. This query will return the highest minutes to read amongst the values of our articles where the user ID is between 20 and 30. Next to the maximum number, we also have the minimum number, which you can grab through the min method. The min method simply returns the minimum value of a given column. So what we could do right here is basically say, well, article, colon, colon, min, and the minimum value is the minutes to read column. Well, basically of the minutes to read column, excuse me. The next method is the 
median method, which is used to retrieve the middle value of a set of numbers. When a set of numbers is ordered from smallest to largest, or the other way around, the median is the value that is exactly in the middle. You might wonder when calculating the median is useful, and think about a scenario where you need to analyze salaries, test scores, or other numerical data sets. So let's say that we're going to use our article model again. We're going to pluck a specific column, which will be the minutes to read, and we're going to then chain the median method to it. And this will return the median number of the minutes to read column among all the articles in your database. The next method is the mode method. Retrieving the mode can be very useful when you want to find out the most frequent occurring value in a data set. So let's say that inside our article model, we're going to once again pluck the user ID because I want to see which user created the most articles. So let's chain the mode method to it which will return an array with user IDs. So it could also be multiple. Now we could even make it a little bit more complex by finding the most common user ID among all articles that are published. So let's say article where the is underscore published column is equal to true. And let's chain the pluck method to it because we're going to pluck the user ID and then we're going to chain the mode methods. And let me actually align the chain methods on the line below. Once we perform our request, you'll see that it's still the user where the user ID is equal to 48. We could also retrieve a random record from a given model using the in random order method. And we have already done this when defining our article factory, but let's do it again. So let's say that we have our article model. Let's use the in random order method. If we perform the request right now, you'll see that we don't retrieve anything because we do need to chain the first method to get the first value. Once we perform it again, you will see that we have retrieved a article where the ID is equal to 52. And if we keep performing our request, you will see that it keeps changing up the row that we're retrieving. You could also retrieve a specific value where you need to replace the first method with the value method. But with the value method, you need to pass in the column name that you want to retrieve. So let's say that we only want to retrieve the ID, which will retrieve the ID value. Finally, we have the sum method, which returns the total number of a given column. So let's say that we want to retrieve the total minutes to read of all articles. So let's say article, colon, colon, sum, and we're going to sum the minutes to read column. Once we perform our request, it will return back 511, meaning that if a user wants to read all articles inside our database, it will take him 511 minutes. Quick summary, we covered various collection methods where you can use when working with numbers. The methods we have covered is the count, count by, max, min, median, mode, random, and sum methods. In the next tutorial, we're going to have a look at the where, where strict, and where between methods in Laravel. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.